Welcome back to Weekend Edition. To continue our coverage on the events that happened during the tragic 9-11 incident 10 years ago, we are joined now by two of our very own soldiers here on Guam. Thanks both for joining us today. So can I have you both introduce yourself for our audience? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, Staff Sergeant Cash from with the uh, 94th Civil Support Team. Uh, I'm a uh, CBR and uh, NCO there. Hi, and I'm um, Zion Samong with the Grand Element J4 PDO. Um, I do the property with unit supply, that's my job. Okay. Now, you both are saying that it was in 2001 you both enlisted for the Army. Yes. Tell us what made you want to join and how was that, what was going through your mind at that time, seeing as the year you enlisted was the same year that this unfortunate incident happened for the country? Well, from, from my, my perspective, I kind of joined just for a, a, a better way of life, you know, um, a change pretty much out of uh, uh, the normal civilian life. Wanted to join the Guard just to see how everything would turn out. Then uh, just so happened, a couple months after I actually swore prior to going to basic training, mm -hmm. the 9-11 uh, incident occurred. So uh, that, was a, that was a shock. It was a, it was a very quiet day, I believe, on the island. Okay. And how was what was going through your mind though at that time? Uh, you're saying you were in shock, but you were in basic training at the time. You had family here. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I went to basic training after the incident. Um, but prior to me leaving the basic, it was it was uh, I was just wondering, thinking would it would it happen here? Would it happen in our own home, you know, on the island of Guam? Basic training went back. Uh, there was mixed emotions with everybody who had enlisted, enlisted prior to, who swore in. Um, I was in basic in AIT for a total of about maybe five months, and throughout the five months. Uh, watching on the news, all the escalation and, and everything just building up and everybody heading out, uh, just knowing and anticipating our turn to head out. So. All right, and yourself, how, what made you uh, decide to enlist? Well, like, I, I joined basically for the same reason, I guess, to for the family and to experience a new, different perspective of work, maybe. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I actually, when basic training, a couple of months prior to the 9-11, so when the 9-11 hits, I was pretty new in the guard. Um, didn't know what to expect, whether we were going to deploy it or not. Um, really didn't think that we will, but I guess we did. Was there any um, change of heart about the enlistment, seeing as you know the country was basically under attack and uh, there was the chance of deployment or going to war? Either of you? Well, I, I, I was thinking there, there may be a chance, mm -hmm. but um, hopefully we won't. Uh, but I, I, it all comes down to it, it would be better for us to, to protect our family outside our home than for the war to come to our home, I guess. Mm -hmm. So it's, it was a, a scary, but, but yet, as a, as a and U.S. Army, I guess that's your job, and you you obligated yourself to protect your family, your nations, right. and that's what you gotta do. Well said, uh, Sergeant Castro. What now? You said you also deployed uh, not too long after you enlisted, uh, about a couple, three years maybe. About two years. Two years. Yeah, prior to coming, or once I came back from basic training and AIT, the op tempo was just it was crazy. Uh, the minute we got back, I think I only attended one weekend drill. Um, went straight into orders, uh, uh, what we call ADSW orders, mm -hmm. uh, force protection orders. So everything was being protected. Everything was being from the airport to um, the the gates, uh, different different uh, locations that needed to be that le needed uh, to up their security. So I was part of that. Then right after that, I got off those orders and straight from there deployed. So uh, my past uh, uh, ten years. Little over ten years in the in the guard has been strictly uh, deployments or or, um, or or pulling some type of for force protection duty or mission that had to deal or, or was uh, uh, brought brought about through the uh, because of the 9/11 uh, incident. And of course, before the incident, we were uh, mentioning how you were deployed to the Horn of Africa. Yes. Tell us about that experience, over That was a it was a very unique experience. We got up there and. Uh, we, we did some uh, military to military training with the uh, different uh, uh, cultures there, the different militaries there. It, it was a great experience. Um, yeah, there was always that thought in your mind of, of, a, of a terrorist uh, incident occurring, of something bad happening. There was always a thought in mind that what, what if something happened back home? 
Right. What if something reoccurred at our own airport with our own airplanes with one of our family members on it? You know, it, it's it's a scary, it's a scary thought. Okay. But it makes me better as a as a soldier and as a as a person. It makes me more aware and makes me take my job seriously. It brings me to a, a better perspective in life. All right, and, and you deployed as well, but to Afghanistan. Yes. Tell us about that experience, and was there anything that I guess stuck out the most to you that? or any traumatic experience, life-changing experience that you had? Mm, yeah, well, I guess the, the most dramatic experience would be you're in foreign country. And you see the life they live and it, it, it would make you want to serve because you wouldn't want that kind of life at home. And it, it was pretty scary, but we, we, we did a job good and we all came home safe, so. Of course, of course we always have our battle buddies out there, yeah. but uh, tell us, give us one example or one it's, of your... Well, as an engineer, our job was to to build um, for the protection of our own soldiers. Um, we're like, um, we build barriers, um, better buildings and housings for our own infantry soldiers so we'll actually go to the front line to fight. And that was basically our job. And to protect our, our soldiers where, where we live. And of course we do get rocket attacks and gunfights outside the wire that we can hear and you don't know whether or not it's gonna come inside and, and hit you. We did get a, get a couple of that, but we also have good soldiers and airmen there to protect us, us as well. So. Okay. All right, we're running out of time, so if either of you like to wrap it up, just say a little bit something to the community about, um, just share anything about your experience as a soldier. You know, my, ex you know. my experience as a soldier has been has been great throughout the, my, my 10 or 11 years with, with the Guard. I encourage any young man, woman, to join any branch of service. It's a, it's a great experience. It's the best thing I've ever done, you know. I mean, there goes to say, it's, it's a different world. We all take care of each other, I guess. It's one family. No matter what, what uniform you wear, no matter what branch of military you're in, we all serve the same purpose, and that's to, to fight for the freedom that we have. Okay. All right. Thank you both for your time. Thank you.